Hello. Um, long time no see. Uh, it's me, Cameron. So, yeah, this is the start of the video that I was um, meaning to put up for a long time. Um, a lot of delays. Um, and yeah, other things. Um, yeah, uh, things are going great now, so I'm sure we want to get on with the video. I'm going to try something different here which is um, dubbing over the top of the footage instead of having to write stuff just makes it easier on me while I'm watching the footage and I'll explain in depth each part uh, this is all thanks to Indy um, for giving me this microphone uh, so hopefully it's coming out better than having to record it on my phone transferring the files from my phone onto here you know so on and so forth so massive shout out to her and thanks to her for this um, and yeah in this video we're going to be talking about the shoulders and um, as you've guessed there'll probably be a lot of ums and as usual because I'm not having a script I'm just doing it whatever's you know like a commentary if you will um, so any mistakes will be staying in uh, just to make it easier like I say on me I need to get this video done as possible next video will be a lot easier um due to you know being a bit more organized as mentioned now starting a new job so days are going to be stressful but i am going to keep to the molding of this and the death squad dialect which is also going really well with that said i think it's about time we got on with it So, as with anything that I do, I always like to mould my Daleks. Um, as you hear, seen, um, I'm now mixing up the silicon and pouring it into the areas. Uh, the reason why I'm pouring it is to get a uh, skin coat, uh, or print coat, sorry, uh, in order to get into all them nooks and crannies. If I was to try and apply it by brush, it would probably create air bubbles, which I've already done with the mixer, um, but you know there's no harm in doing that because the bubbles will rise to the surface in this shot here I've added a bit of thickness so that's why it's not seeping so much on the second layer and now I am now applying by brush because I know on my first print coat it's got into all those areas Um, yeah and here's the before and after of the print coat as you can see it's you know seeped into all them areas is what I want uh, big areas like to the uh, right with the puddle in that don't matter because that's going to be underneath all of it and that will add um, strength to the flanges that are going to get made. As from then, as you can see from uh, the pictures that are coming, um, as I didn't need to take much more footage as you get the general idea of how it is, these are the uh, progress pictures of how each part, um, every time I applied, trying to make it smoother by using white spirits to smooth it out. You can see that the flange is now being made just by pouring um, about 600 millilitres. And yeah, it's just building it up. Now, I probably have gone overboard, um, I'll be honest, when I have a look at um, other moulds and that they're not as thick as this, but I want to make sure this fin is going to keep its shape yes uh, granted it's going to have fiberglass shells around it to bolt the entire thing together um but yeah that's pretty much the left side of the mold done and smoothed out as best as possible so with that said it's now onto the right side there you can see that I was just cleaning out the uh, jug with a sponge in order to make sure there was no, um, I don't know, just odd bits in the uh, thing. As I'm doing another print coat, as you've seen, now this is the right side. Of course, I don't want any imperfections like old bits of silicon, you know, getting in there. Um, with that, then I moved on to the second one, as usual layering it up making it thicker each time i think each time i poured was about 600 milliliters um pretty much and i keep you know doing that uh applying layer after layer 
Um, sadly, I don't have much footage of me using the brush method um, with the thickener, as I just wanted to take pictures by then, as, like I say, you get the idea of how it all goes together. And, yeah, that's pretty much it on that. It's all layering up, like I say, and that's a good thing. I could leave it like this, you know, pretty much, and then add a fiberglass shell, but I want to make sure this fin is quite rigid and going to keep its shape. The tricky thing with the mould is also having to do a lot of turning back and forth, hence the reason why the flanges are an octagon shape, so that when I turned it on its side or on its back, it would stay in the same position. And yeah, as you can see, it's a very messy mould at the minute. There will be a lot of silicon added over the top to smooth this out as best as possible in order for the fibreglass shell to properly realign uh, and not cause any issues.